If you want to learn how to create your own custom sticker like this one, so you can create stories like this one or any kind of animation like this one, this video is for you. The first step is to record yourself doing a motion or an action and you can record yourself with a camera or with a phone. Just remember to do it in a well-lit area and if you are using a mobile phone, remember to clean the lens of your phone. So I will do it here really quick. This is going to help us make the video look as clear and sharp as possible, which in turn is going to help the sticker to look better. I have the video that I filmed with my phone on my computer and now I'm going to use this website to remove the background on my video. So this website is unscreen.com. Here is a little note for iPhone users. If you are an iPhone user, I suggest that you open this website unscreen.com on a Safari browser. Here I am using a Chrome browser and I'm going to show you the error that this website gives me if I don't use Safari. So when I click on upload clip, I select the video that I created with my iPhone and I get this error. It says that the video codec is not supported. So I read, I think it was this article that they give us and they basically say that if you are using iPhone to use Safari. When you use Safari, Safari automatically converts the video and you will be able to upload your clip using Safari. So when I do upload clip, I select my video, upload, and the video is automatically converted and I can use this platform. Okay, here's the website doing its magic. Now my video has no background. And I also want to mention that this website is free to use. If you use it for free, you will have a watermark down below in this corner and I believe that it also downloads with a lower quality rather than if you had the pro version. If you were to upgrade to the pro version you will be able to download these videos or GIFs without a watermark and with higher quality. So you have here all the perks. I also want to show you something quick. Below the video you have these options. It says change background so you can use any other video as a background which is not what we want <laughs> you can also change the color of the background of your video or you can also add an image as a background but because we want it to have transparency i'm going to reset close and then i'm going to download it select this arrow pointing down and then select GIF. I have my GIF ready and as you can see, the sticker doesn't have a background, which is great if you want to create animations like this one. If you want to learn how to create this specific animation, I'm gonna leave you guys the link to the tutorial up here. As I told you at the beginning of this tutorial, you can also use these stickers on Instagram stories. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that. Now I'm going to teach you how to create Instagram stories from your phone using your own stickers and I'm going to teach you two different ways. The first one you can follow it if you have an Android or an iPhone and the second way you can use it if you have an iPhone. So let's start with the first option. I already have Canva downloaded to my phone so I'm going to open it. From here I'm going to select Instagram story. If you don't have it on your homepage, just go to social media, select Instagram and the option should be right here, Instagram story. I'm going to select the blank option because I can select a template inside the Canva editor. So I'm going to go for blank and from here you can select any template that you wish. If you want to use any of my templates, you can go to the search box and type Diana Munoz without any space and you can use any of these templates right here. I'm gonna select this one and once you have your story ready you have customized the text and the colors go to the plus icon open the uploads section and select upload media open the photo library 
and select the GIF that don't have a background, the one that we just created, and add. Your GIF should start uploading to Canva, so you see this loading bar below the GIF. Wait until that loading bar is completely full and then you can add it to your story. I already have a GIF already uploaded, so I'm gonna select this one right here. That one is fully uploaded already. So I'm selecting it. And now I can start playing around with the size of my GIF. The position i can put my gif whatever i wish i can leave it even right here and once your story is ready select this arrow pointing upwards and in my case because i already connected my instagram account to my canva account i can simply select instagram story and then Canva will take me to the story section on Instagram. Once you have this window open, go below and select the square option that you see on the left and select the story that you just created on Canva. And that's it, your story is ready to be shared. Now let me show you the second way that you can use if you are an iPhone user. If you are an iPhone user, you can simply create a story inside Instagram. I'm gonna use one of these images that I already have here, which is the same story I created on Canva, but this time I'm going to my camera roll. I have my GIF without the background here. I'm going to select the share option and then copy photo. I'm going back to Instagram and you see this window appearing. Click on it and now you have your sticker and you can play around with it. You can move it. You can, you know, position it whatever you want. You can use it as one of those GIFs available on Instagram. And once you are happy with your design, you can simply share the story. And this is the final outcome. This is how you use your custom stickers on your Instagram stories. And if you want to learn how to create a sticker like this one with animated text, let me know in the comments. And if I see that many of you are interested in that tutorial, I can make that video for you. Meanwhile, I'm gonna leave you guys a playlist with tutorials on how to create animations in Canva in here. And if you want to learn more about our free trials, our courses, and more you can click on this link over here i really hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next one bye